<laughs> Where did the idea come from? It's such an innovative idea. Yeah. Ah, well, well, it came from a screenwriter's one sentence idea yeah. that a boy had to choose a double ganger out of an egg and then I wanted to change it into a girl and then we developed the story together. <laughs> yeah, I, I really wanted in this film to explore this kind of uh, uh, twisted mother-daughter relationship. That mother's love in this film is never unconditional. It's it's always that she wants something from her daughter and she wants the daughter to be there to fulfill her own unfulfilled dreams. Yeah, and the daughter always feels that she's never really enough for the mother and, and she's never really loved fully as she is. And that's what's the horror is. Yeah, I, I wanted to uh, uh, the style of the film to be something uh, how the mother has decorated her whole life uh, to be perfect, and uh, and so everything is kind of overly perfect, and uh, and uh, all the colors are matching, and there are no bright colors or strong colors because mother doesn't allow any strong feelings in the family, and there are no dark shadows because she doesn't allow any dark secrets in the family so basically everything is soft and you can see everything and but it's so perfect that it's kind of uh, fake and it's uh, and uh, and there's just so many roses that it's kind of suffocating so well, it was a bit David Lynchian I was getting that sort of yeah. suburban thing you know the sort of area shots of the suburban street and the picket fences and all that yeah and, and I, I really wanted to I wanted to show the whole story through the main character the girl's experience and she feels that she can't really understand the reality where she lives because she always tries to please her mother and she never can so yeah. everything's a bit weird so uh, I wanted to do it in very many subtle ways, like you never see other people in the streets and uh, you never hear birds singing in their mm. yard and it's a, a little bit too quiet, a little bit too empty and uh, mm. her whole life is just about the mother and uh, and trying to succeed in gymnastics. I mean, she's, kind of, she's kind of the monster in it, the mum, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. I really wanted the, the creature in our film, that it seems real, that it has a physical presence, so I didn't want it to be a CG character. Then I knew that I wanted it to be an animatronic puppet, kind of like uh, E.T. has been. Yeah. So uh, I knew that we need the best possible person to make this puppet. And I googled that who is the best animatronic designer in the whole world. Mm -hmm. And I found Gustav Hergen, who lives in London, and he has been the lead animatronic designer in Star Wars and Jurassic World. <laughs> what were some of, the, some of the biggest challenges directing the film for you? Um, uh, well, maybe technically it was the the monster scenes because we had a uh, this puppet and we had five puppeteers around the puppet and moving the puppet's body with rods and Gustav was there moving the facial expressions with remote controls and I they really need the multiple takes to make it really look alive yeah. and then also we had a. Um, uh, actor also playing the monster, and uh, we had a special effect makeup for the for the actor, and uh, and it took like uh, around four hours to get it on and get it off. And in terms of the men in the film, yeah, they're kind of they're kind of empty vessels, aren't they? And I quite like that. Yeah, was that intentional? Uh, yeah, well, uh, for example, in the character of father, uh, I think. Um, he also is partly to blame that, uh, uh, I mean, as much to be blamed as the mother for her daughter feeling kind of yes. bad because the father is trying to cope in life by just uh, escaping the problems and uh, and letting the mother to uh, lead. And I think it, that's how it is in many relationships. This one is very dominating and the other one is just, oh, well, I let you decide, I let you decide. So I think. As grown-ups, we should take responsibility in our own selves and in our lives and in the situation and relationship where we are. And this is what the father is not doing here.